Astrophotography with your phone. You're gonna need some kit. You're gonna need probably about eight different things. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I use on a regular basis for my astrophotography, all the equipment that I use. Hang around to the end because this is the first video ever I'm giving something to you guys for free. Check it out. Let's go. G'day guys, Shane Austin here. Each week I do two videos all about small sensor photography, that is mobile phones, GoPros, all that sort of business, generally in low light situations. So if you're into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and if you have already done that, you're a bloody legend. Today what we're talking about is all the bits of kit that I take out to the field with me when I take astrophotography photos. First thing, let's talk about your phone. Now when it comes to your phone, it doesn't matter if you're an Android person or if you're an Apple person, you're going to want to protect this. These things aren't cheap, they're pretty bloody expensive. So it doesn't make sense that you're just going to spend a couple of dollars on protecting these bloody things. First of all, the covers that I use, they are from life-proof cases. So these life-proof cases, there's the one for the iPhone and there's the one that I use on the S21 Ultra. Now, both of these are wake cases on life proof i'll link everything i'm talking about here today is linked down the bottom so these are life proof case wake cases pretty good i've dropped these things off rocks hit rocks in the dairy onto concrete and the phones are in good nick there's nothing damaged on these phones they're only rated for like two meter drop but honestly if you're climbing up something more than two meters tall there's bigger and better cases out there these don't make the phone much bigger than what they already are and they're pretty rock solid what about the cover the glass cover, the screen protector. Let's have a look at that. So that's the covers. Now the screen protectors, this thing is a Gorilla Glass on most cases these days, so they're pretty rock solid anyway. But if you scratch it, you're up for a bit of dollars to get it fixed. Now, these things in Australia, these two phones, they're about two grand a pop. They're not cheap. And it doesn't make sense to me that you're going to go and throw a piece of plastic film on the front of this and think it's going to be protected. Like I said, I've dropped these things in the dairy onto concrete from rocks onto rocks. And if I didn't have the covers that I've got on these things, I'm fairly confident that they'd be busted and the, the phones would be written off or have to be a pretty costly repair. So the cases that I use, or the glass screen protectors that I use, are the Whitestone glass dome cases. That's these bad boys. And these guys actually sent me some cases. I've put one onto the S21 Ultra and it's actually not as simple as you would like it to be, but it's better and more rock solid than what you needed it to be. One of the biggest pains for me is when I get one of these screen protectors and put it onto the screen and you know the little dust, little bit of dust under that glass cover and ends up with a bubble on there and you end up living with it for months and months and it just drives you batshit crazy every time you look at the friggin' thing. Well, the way that you install this is, well, it's pretty bloody good. Before you go and install this, make sure you've got the cover off your existing phone. S21 Ultra comes with a little plastic cover, doesn't protect it from, well, anything. But you gotta take that off before you install this new cover. It comes with a jig and you put the phone into the jig. There are lots of installation videos around this all over YouTube. What I'm showing you guys here is that I've put it in mine and I've got to tell you, it's rock solid. You install it, get rid of all the dust, put the liquid glue onto it. And this is set with that glass on there. It's curved glass. It fits nicely to the phone. Hit the UV light onto it. It all comes in this kit, all the things that you need. Use the light cures the glue and you're done. The best thing about this though, is on the back of this bad boy, then you've got another cover to go over the lenses on the phone. How bloody good is that? Because this, for what we do on this channel, this bit of part of the phone, as you know I don't like it, but this part of the phone, well, that's protected now too. It's awesome, it's a great bit of kit. So if you want one of these things, and I'm telling you now, you spend a lot of money on these phones, these things are not cheap, they're probably the more expensive end of the market, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth the investment. If you want one of these, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the full kit to send to you. iPhone 12 mini, full kit to send to you. So if you want one of those, hang around to the end, I'm gonna show you how to get it. The next thing I wanna talk about is illumination. When we go out there and take these photos, well, it's dark and you need to find your way around. I use this torch all the time. It's a lead lenser torch. Um, these are fantastic torches. Lead lenses are just awesome torches. I've used them for years and years and years, well before starting a channel. Um, there's a handheld lead lenser torch that I use. I don't use this 
for actually doing the photography. And I don't use this for doing the photography either because they're just, well, to be honest, they're just so bloody bright. In fact, on this one, I'll just turn that off. I actually put baking paper, like parchment paper all over that because it's just so bright. And if I didn't have that on there, well, you can see what I'm talking about here. It's, it's freaking nuts, it's so bright. But getting to a location in the dark with this thing on your head and this thing in your hand, well, between the two of them, we should be able to find our way around. So those two torches are fantastic to getting to and from a location when you want to actually shoot. To actually do the photography though, when you want to light paint something, I don't use those. I use this Weeben torch. Uh, and the reason that I use this one is that it changes brightness quite easily. All the way down to that. And that, what you're seeing right there, is virtually nothing. It's, it's, it's hardly lighting anything up. And uh, this is a rechargeable torch. You just plug it into a USB, micro USB, and it'll charge and it gives you, well, I'll, I'll charge that every couple of months sort of thing to do the work that I do. It's very important when you're doing light painting with this sort of photography is that the torch is adjustable. I can't stress that enough, and I'll link all this stuff in the description down below. The only app that I want to talk about in this video is photo pills. It's the only one I want to talk about. It's all about planning where you're going to be. You go somewhere earlier in the day, the augmented reality that's in photo pills, I've done lots of videos on it, it looks like this. It tells you when you need to be at that location for the subject that you're trying to shoot. It's an expensive app, it's about 15 bucks. As far as apps go, it's expensive. But I've got to tell you, it's worth every penny. It's absolutely worth every penny. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I've used it for years and years and years, and I wouldn't be without it. It's the best app that I've ever seen for planning astrophotography. So you get to location and you work out, well, I need to be able to shoot this photo for like 30 seconds because Shane said on his you know, YouTube channel to shoot for 30 seconds. How am I gonna hold my bloody phone still? Well, you're gonna need one of these. This is a Ulanzi phone holder. There's not much to it. It's a pretty um, simple bit of kit and it screws into your tripod down over here. It's adjustable, you screw this up or down and it takes basically any phone. I can hold the iPhone 12 Pro Max in there and that's a big bloody phone and it holds it in there just fine. I've actually got a few of these. I use these things all the time. You may have seen other videos where I'm comparing phone to phone. I've set it up onto a Niwa bracket and I've got two of them sitting side by side with the phones. It's, a, it's just, they're just fantastic. There's a few of these around. In fact, Ulanzi make a couple of different models, some that fold the uh, ends of it in so it flats, so it packs flat. I've got to be honest though, I've tried them and they're not that good. They're not that reliable and they wobble around a bit. I just don't trust them to be honest. This here, there's not much to it, but like most things when they're simple, simple isn't stupid, it just works. Next is one of the most common questions that I get asked. What tripod do you use? Well, I use a few. Um, as most of you would know, I'm a photographer by trade and I do a lot of landscape photography, astrophotography, weddings, family, all that sort of business. And all of those things will generally bring a tripod in at some point. So I've probably got four or five different tripods. When I go away on my motorbike, I used to take a little phone, a little camera with me. Since the iPhone 12, I just haven't. Um, iPhone 12, S21 Ultra, I just take my phone. These things are printing big enough these days and uh, I just take a phone. I don't take a camera anymore at all. But when I'm away on my bike, I take this with me, this little Joby tripod. Now Joby make, these are flexible. You would have seen these, you can hook them onto anything. Although this thing's only like you know 12 inches long, you can go and wrap it around different things and hold it at different heights. So it doesn't really have to be at ground level. It's a very bloody good tripod to use. Uh, it's got a quick release part here and that there screws on to that. So this here will screw directly onto that there. And then this, the Ulanzi phone holder, will just sit on top of the tripod holder, tripod just like that. Now you can get, in fact, Joby, Ulanzi, all these different companies make tripods, like flexible tripods, like little bendy tripods with a phone holder on them. And that's a great idea and I would encourage you to get them if you don't own a camera. Because if you set this tripod up with a fixed phone holder, it can only ever be used for phones. You can't use it for a camera then. Whereas doing it this way, if you've got a smaller camera like the one I'm shooting on right now, well, you can still put a camera on top of this tripod. Make sense? 
The other tripod that you see me use quite a bit on my channel is this tripod here. This is a Manfrotto tripod, it's an extendable tripod. It goes out to probably four or five foot high and it's got a ball head on it. This is kind of a, in Australia we would call this a mongrel, as in we call some dogs mongrels where they're like crossbred dogs, they're these mongrel dogs. Um, so this tripod's a little bit of a, a mongrel. It's got a uh, Manfrotto tripod and a Suri, um, Suri, no, Siru or Suryu or whatever it's called. It's that bad boy right there. Ball head. Um, this here is it's probably, a, I, I definitely rate this ball head. It's a, it's a good ball head. This tripod and this in this configuration has been all over the world with me, all, all over, through America, through Japan, through New Zealand, all over the place. This thing's been in salt water, fresh water, it's been everywhere. And honestly, it's just, it's a, it's just a, it's a bulletproof sort of tripod. It's not, it's not really light, but it's also not that heavy. It's been everywhere. I, I, I can't rate this enough. I'll link it down the bottom. Unfortunately, they don't make this one anymore. So what I'm linking down the bottom there is the one that came after this one. With this tripod, it's a little bit different mounting to what the other one was. Um, this is what's referred to as an Arca Swiss mount. It looks like a bit of a dovetail there, if you like, and this is a base plate that goes into that tripod. It's not rocket science, it works pretty simple. And all you do with your phone holder, your Ulanzi phone holder, you see it's going across different tripods here, you just screw that into the base of that one and it goes onto your tripod. All right, this giveaway that I'm doing, where is it happening? It's happening over on Instagram, on my page on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description and you can go there and check it out for yourself. But basically I'm giving away a few of these Whitestone dome glass products. All you need to do is head over there, follow my page, tag someone in that post that enjoys or you think enjoys mobile photography. Also list down the bottom there the product that you have as in the device that you have that you want the Whitestone product for so that I know that I'm giving away all the stuff that I've actually got here. Why are we giving it away now? Well, we're giving it away because we've just hit 20,000 subs on this channel right here. So these guys have sent me some product to use on this channel. I've got extras and I asked them and they said, yeah, give it away, so we are. So what better time to give it away than when we have reached 20,000 subscribers? Head over there on Instagram, the link's in the description and uh, enter into that competition, guys. I really appreciate your support, really do. I'll catch you guys next week. See you later.